welcome into today's show hey we are outside and uh, looks like it's getting a little cloudy out here but hey the reason why we're out here is because uh, I did some work to the truck and uh, this is a uh, locking mechanism for the uh, hood right here and I had to replace it right here this one as well just four bolts right there all the one top one there is kind of missing right now but it wasn't in there when I took it out either so hey what can I do I got me a new locking mechanism in there because when I was driving down the road there uh, last week it kept popping out open every once in a while so then I know it's shot and I tried it before just replacing one and it ain't doing the job so I got both of them replaced and wouldn't you believe it just a locking mechanism like this cost 200 bucks just the parts I put this on myself and then up in here is where we got the uh, air filter and uh, I had my pressure washer out today and I, uh, I washed the truck no it isn't very super super clean but hey at least got most of the bugs off of it and uh, yeah so we uh, done all of that and then I washed the driveway off with the pressure washer as well and I got a request the other day saying to uh, tell you guys a little bit about my motor and stuff so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys a little bit let's see if I can zoom in over here that's what it is it's an ISX 400 and it has 400 horsepower I believe at least that's what the motor is designed for it's a commons yep that's what it is and uh, I have it boosted up to 475 horsepower with 1850 torque yes sir and I also got a question the other day are all trucks automatic no they are I don't know what the percentage of it is but it's all depending on your pleasure if you want a standard you can get a standard if you want automatic you can get an automatic now mine is a standard because I prefer to drive a standard and that's just the way it is but uh, another thing I also did is uh, I've flushed out the red over here I don't know if you can be able to see it ah, you should be able to see it like the red right there behind like the cooler it was uh, my engine was starting to get hot whenever I was driving in, the, in hills and stuff like that with the heavy load so what I did is I took the uh, compressor or not compressor the uh, pressure washer and I took my hose and I flushed it out you wouldn't believe how much dirt came out of there man so after all the hard work today ah, here is the nozzle I was looking for earlier <laughs> I knew I put it here somewhere and uh, anyways after all the hard work today I, uh, I was gonna go out today but uh, I didn't really have a load until just now you know and it's already like four o'clock in the afternoon and I told a friend of mine I said I don't think I'll be going out today so so that's have barbecue today so that's what we'll be doing we'll have some barbecue today and I think I'm gonna go fire up the grill here pretty soon and then we'll have ourselves a fire fire going and a, and a nice barbecue this is my pressure washer up here yep let's go close the hood and then uh, get ourselves a fire going in the backyard and then have a nice barbecue you know but uh, yeah they want me to go to Alberta and I said is it okay if I leave tomorrow morning and they said yes it is so we'll uh, we'll leave tomorrow morning Oh yeah, and another thing that I forgot to tell you guys is uh, I got this kind of uh, filter in there, air filter, and it is actually washable. And as it says right here, it's good for three years up to 300k miles. So all I have to do is take this cover out, I pull out the uh, air filter, and I usually put it over there by the uh, fire hydrant there put it on there I got my wife to hold it today she helped me a little bit today 
and I take my pressure washer and I just wash it off. I put a little, I spray a little bit of soap on there first, and then I just wash it off, you know. And it's a little bit of an expensive uh, filter, but at least that way I don't have to replace it every six months, you know. That way you can just take it out about every six months and wash it or whatever. They recommend doing it every oil change, but for me it usually looks pretty good after I'm doing an oil change, you know. So I usually do it about every six months, but hey, that's okay. Well, guys, let's take a look. That's how we we'll look. Yeah, what do you guys think? We got some chicken. Got some T-bone steak. And yeah, that's looking pretty good, eh? Yep, I think so. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me.